back again. Uh, so today I've got a little friend in the workshop. His name is? Kaz. YouTube name Kaz. Um, so today we're going to be making a little project. He's my nephew. He's come to stay for a week. So tell him what we're going to be making for um, you today. We're making a logo board sign. A bedroom door sign with his own little personalised logo. One for his little brother as well. Um, and we're going to be making it out of oak, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. It's good, I'll hold him for you. So now you've got to find that 15 mark. Okay, we found the centre of the board. Nice, good job. Let's get down the line, let's see how, how good we are. That looks perfect to me. So remember, start your blade a bit up high, turn on the power. Now remember, this is going to be harder to cut through than the other wood, so just take your time with it, okay? Yep, okay, so do you remember how to turn it on? Yep. Lift it up off the ground first, remember? There you go. So start him up. I'll do the turning on. You get it in your position nicely. Now just remember, yep, hands right out of the way. And you've got to keep it pushed up yeah. against that and feed it through the blade, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Now you've got the correct whip for your blade. Ow. <laughs> that was a smart idea. <laughs> it's going to be that hard. Oh. Great job. Right. There you That's go. Smooth. Oh my god, that, that is smooth. as smooth as a baby's bum. Wow, it's really smooth. Yeah, see, that's what you've got to do. It's a lot of sanding, but you get there in the end. Should I leave the back now? Uh, the back doesn't really need sanding because it's going against yeah. your door. Yeah. Right. Uh, Whoa. Can I stand mine a bit more? Yeah, push it. So, mate, what have we decided to add to your sign? Um, rounded corners. And what's the best way to get a good uh, markup for rounded corners? A circle. A circle. So, let's place him here. You're going to mark up all the corners like that. Okay mate, so we've rounded out the corners. Yep. What do you reckon the next step on our sign should be? We need to smooth the edges so they're not as sharp. Yeah, cut down some of the edges, just add a little bevel on them uh, so they're a bit more rounded and you know less splinters and things like that. So break out the sander, round off the corners. Yep. Right, backboards. Whoop, boom, let's go. So we've rounded off the corners, yeah? Yeah. And we've put the little bevel on the side. Yeah. Now have a feel, have a quick rub down. Does that feel yeah, like that it's... Yeah, compared to that is like... Yeah, well it's let's, like let's bring out toy. the old wood before it was all sanded and stuff like that. That's pretty smooth, right, compared to this stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But we can get it smoother still. What we've got to use is one of these. Now it's very sharp. Careful mate, don't put root, careful. So I'll show you how to use this and we're gonna make these as smooth as smooth can be. All right? Did you just do that there? Kind of, I'll show you, I'll show you. That's 
yours. There you go, you have the feel. Never mind, Smoother. Yeah, yeah, really damn good, mate. You're doing really well. You're an expert at this. Right, mate, so uh, tell the guys what we're going to be doing now for the signs. Um, we're sticking the signs onto the... Sticking the logos onto the oak. Yeah. And what are we going to be using to stick the... Uh, Sticky spray mount. Sticky spray mount. Spray it on the back of our designs, then we can line them up and get them ready on the oak. So if I hold this up, do you want to... So mate, what stage are we at now? Spray painting. Spray painting. We've cut out your stencil, um, so put him down, give your spray paint a bit of a shake, and then remember to hold it a bit off and just gently dust the paint over the top, yeah? Okay, so just a light dusting, mate, remember? Okay, mate, what's our next step? Drilling the holes. Lovely, so remember just keep your uh, drill bit really nice and straight as you're going through. Let the drill do the work. Right mate, so what's the name of the tool we're going to be using now? Countersink. A countersink. Okay, so countersink those holes, yeah? Is that straight? That's nice and straight. Go for it. Right, so we've drilled and countersinked our holes. Now we're on our last bit, which is adding... Can you pronounce this word? Polyurethane varnish. Polyurethane varnish. So, gonna lay his down and he's gonna give his uh, final coat of varnish. Yeah. Deal? Yeah. High five. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Stop, start, remember? Right guys, so we finished our sign. Uh, the last thing we did was uh, buff up the polyurethane finish with 1,200 grit emery paper to give it a real nice uh, sheen and shine and everything like that. So, are you happy with your sign? Very. Very happy with your sign. And you're gonna come back again some other time and help me with another project? Yeah. All right, you take this one as well, put down the emery paper. You're gonna hide it behind your back and we're gonna go find your brother. Yeah? <laughs> Don't see it. Don't yeah. see it. <laughs> Did it? Did it? <laughs> what do you reckon, mate? Good. Good? You like good. it? Do you reckon it's going to look good on your wall? On your bedroom door? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Hey, happy times. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.